Hey, money maker. Excited, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, I'm telling you, we get excited every time we have the opportunity to come on here with you guys. 4 p.m. Central Standard for us and 5 p.m. Central Eastern Time for many other people, right? I said that right. <laughs> Always be thinking about my time zone. But no, we're really excited, you guys. And we definitely want to say welcome to the Helping Families Movement. We're all about making sure that you guys have a full understanding of what it is that we're doing. Um, in this season, what we're taking advantage of in this season, how we're able to maximize with our families and um, still be able to do the things that we desire to do. And many of you guys um, have continued to keep on watching us on social media and you see us helping families every single day. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys are, what is that helping families movement? What are they doing? How are they helping families? So today we're going to show you guys and talk to you guys about how we're going to be helping families. So my name is Marquita Thomas. And I am Camille Westmoreland. And so who we're about to get ready to bring on you guys is this power couple, Tiana and David. I'm telling you guys, I absolutely love them. I fell in love with them. You understand what I'm saying? Because they are some movers, some shakers. They have caught on to the vision of the whole movement of, you know, being able to help as many families as they can. And they jumped in this thing. I'm pretty sure they're about, what, good two weeks in. And I'm telling you, they're absolutely loving it. And they are changing the game. So you guys help us welcome the powerful Miss Tiana and her hubby, Bubby, David. Hey. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. So look, we're super excited. So you guys go ahead and start sharing the feed. We need you to tag a couple that you know. So go ahead and start tagging couples um, in the in the comment box. Start tagging them right now, letting them know, hey, we need you guys to hear this information. Tag your single friends, tag your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, so they could hear this privileged information that only the one person of the wealthy has had the opportunity to take advantage of. So we're gonna jump right on in it. Okay, so. Tiana, I had the opportunity of like really talking to you and you had told me um, that, you know, Holy Spirit literally downloaded and shared something with you. Can you just, you know, kind of elaborate on that and tell the people, you know, how you got started with this and why you made the decision, why both of you guys made the decision to partner with the Help and Families Movement and partner with the I Am Mastery Academy? So I'm going to just try to make this real short. Is a more to it than what I told you. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot more than what I told you. So me and my husband, we are, you know, we have four children, and um, I'm a full time entrepreneur. I'm homeschooling our oldest child. I have about three businesses: a publishing company, uh, a wow. business called the Proverbs Thirty One Boss Academy that I mentor women, and then I have. I was actually in the process of launching a prophetic school for millennials. I'm prophetic. Mm -hmm. I learned just by the Holy Spirit. So wow. everything was just rolling. So my brother-in-law has been a part of IML for over four years. And he's been trying to tell me about it. I said, look, bro, I'm not interested, interested in no charts and graphs. I'm good. I didn't do well in geometry, mathematics, none of that. I'm all right with that. So, um, and so my husband, it reminds me a lot of Camille in terms of the week. Like he's very analytical. Um, I was just telling the team today that I, and whenever he goes to the store to buy TV, it's like a four hour run. He's reading all the specs. Okay. I'm like, bruh, I'm not going to the store with you. Just go and TV on your own. Because I'm big picture. And he's like, you know, attention to detail, oh, yeah. and you need that as a yeah. as a team, as a couple, like in, in, even in any business relationship. If you're one thing, your business partner has to be the other. So, anyhow, um, I had a vision back in February. I knew that my husband was going to join. I had visions a lot, visions and dreams, mm -hmm. and I had this vision of uh, my husband when we were on, we were going to church one day, and he was sleep. He was I, I saw him sleeping and. Every time he woke up, like God had given him a new tray idea and he oh, would go to the computer and then like toward the end of the vision, he had made a million dollars in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. It was like three or four months. So um, if anybody knows anything about the prophetic dreams, you mm -hmm. have to decipher, but visions, you can pretty much take that to the bank. Mm -hmm. So I went to him and I was like, look, I saw this vision of you and this is what you were doing and just giving him the details. And, you know, we I have visions all the time. We have dreams, visions, encounters and stuff. So we know to, to take this stuff seriously. So anyhow, my husband is still researching because he's a researcher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he loves he's, he's looking into it. And he's like, when I get in, he's the type of person once he makes his decision to get in, he's all in. 
but he he takes his time in making a decision. That's his personality. So um, yeah. I was sitting at my computer on March the 31st, right? And um, I remember in March, the Lord told me, whatever you sow seeds into in March, that it was going to bring an immediate harvest. Mm. Um, so mm. I was like, you know, just with my mentees and all of that stuff, sharing this stuff with them. And I was sitting at my computer at 1140 p.m. on March th- on March the 31st. And the Lord said, you need to sign up before midnight. Yeah, so I am. I'm not even interested. He not ready yet. And now I'm about to sign up. So I'm like, OK, Jesus, mm-hmm. uh, I'm not interested, but OK. You know, mm-hmm. I've been approached by so many different multi-level marketing companies because of my personality. Right. But I can't sell anything I don't believe in. Mm-hmm. I can't share anything that I don't believe in. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, um, I, I, I was going creating a course for my company. And I say, okay, God, just allow me to finish out the course. And then on Saturday, which was the the third, I finished the course on Saturday, I started and I watched, I watched all the 100 videos. My husband took care of the kids all day. I watched all of the 100 videos because I believe that when God gives you an opportunity, you got to jump in. It's Mm -hmm. it's immediate obedience that will bless you. So he was watching the kids. I was, I was diving in and um, then the blitz. That weekend happened. Y'all remember the blitz at the China mm-hmm. school, all the women yeah. one of it. And I was like, I can build with them. Yes. I can do this. So I started to look at the other side of the business, not just the trading thing. And I said, Well, my husband is really good with trading. I got started, but he's gonna jump in. And then I can really focus on the building because that's where I naturally have a, a you know, I have a natural talent there. And here we are. I found my first person up on the seventh. And today we have almost 30 people on our team. So it's like, I mean, honestly, I have an MBA, but I ain't that smart. You know, it's a thing of God. I never did multi-level marketing before. I don't know how to recruit. I don't know any of this stuff. It's only by way of the Holy Spirit, honestly. And that's what has gotten us on here today. That's what has gotten us the strategy to build the team. It really is God that is moving this thing. I know he is in it. And that's why I know that we're going to go as far as he wants us to go. Because we're going to be obedient. You know, that's so good because sometimes you always kind of, you know, when you're, especially when you are a couple and, you know, you have to kind of go back. Most people, you know, go back and kind of ask, you know, hey, honey, what do you think, you know? Um, do you think it's time for us to jump in? Or some people tend to sometimes not make a decision right off the bat, you know, because they're waiting on their spouse's approval in that area. One thing that I love about you guys in your relationship, your respect um, for the Holy Spirit, your respect for each other and decisions is that, you know, when Holy Spirit told you, Huppy was, David was over here, you know, still researching and studying it. And you just got a prompt and you personally wasn't ready. Now one of you guys was ready. But you got an unction and you trust your your financial gut. You trust the Holy Spirit. And then you just went back and he teamed up with you and said, you know what? Hey, let's go with it. So, David, from a male perspective, because I really want you to kind of just hit on that. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I speak to a whole lot of couples and it may be one particular couple. One person may see it. The other person may be like, "Ah, I don't see it. And then they don't do it. But if the because. Tiana stepped up even in it and said, you know what? Hey, let's run for it. And you were in agreement with it. Now look at the blessing. You know what I'm saying? Just a few days later, because y'all both came in agreement and you just ran strong with it. But now the whole household gets to benefit from it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. from this that. So that because I think from a male perspective, it's so good, even as women, because us women, you know, we can see things. We're like, we want to do it, you know. Come on, do this. And you know, you got the men like, ah. So just kind of touch on that because I really think it's we want to hear from it from a male's perspective. Definitely. So rewinding back, uh, as as T said, uh, she did approach me in regards to uh, when she had that vision. Uh, And, you know, that was something that I definitely was excited about uh, because, uh, first off, I was looking for, you know, a second uh, secondary hustle, another way to make money. And it's something I was praying about just based on direction, something where I'm like, all right, already doing this nine to five based on my position. 
it's not just a nine to five. I, I work a lot of hours. You know, I'm used yeah. to working some weekends, I'm used to working a lot of over hours, over time. And my main concern was that, well, first off, I looked into the several ways of making additional income. Mm -hmm. uh, most ways in regards to the traditional way would take me away from the family even more. Mm -hmm. uh, now that was a burden that, you know, I was hesitating to, to even consider to being on my wife, even though if something I was considering saying, hey, I need to start looking, you know, at other means of uh, making money, yeah. but I'm already, you know, up early, out the door early, back in the door late. At this point, I'm saying, hey, well, okay, what am I gonna do next, uh, uh, overnight? Now, of course, you know, just in regards to advancing within the enterprise, uh, sometimes it doesn't, that movement is not as quickly as you want. Right. You get your raises, you switch positions, you get bumps here and there and there. And, but I'm kind of like, all right, talk is, you know, clock is ticking. Yeah. Kids are getting older. Look, I really need to start. I need a boost. I need to, you know, free some of this time up for these, you know, young boys and girls trying here, running rampant <laughs> all <laughs> over the place. And, you know, so just really just praying about that. Yeah. And uh, as Keon stated, you know, this is an opportunity that my brother spoke about to us several years back. And this is, you know, way back from probably 2000, you know, uh, yeah. He was, you know, speaking about Forex and different things. He was in it at one point. Uh, he stopped and then he actually joined IML and he started telling me about the opportunity. And, you know, I was kind of just more so just like, all right, well, you let me know how that's going. You did this before way back. <laughs> so, all right, cool. So he was saying, but I'm telling you, you know, he's a, a real progressive. Uh, for thinker, he'll jump right in there. Uh, money's not an option in regards to investing in your future. So yeah. the biggest thing he was telling me was that, hey, David, listen, I spent $8,000 uh, back in New York on this training course. It did not even have half of the information that I can get from, you know, from within this uh, organization. I'm telling you, it's the, it's the best in regards to the structure. It's the best in regards to the resources. Yeah and the type of information that's provided. I'm telling you, but once again, I'm like, all right, cool. So, you know, what's the buy-in? So I'm more so thinking along that side, what's the buy-in? All right, how long is it gonna take me if I gotta hustle this way, that way? All right, cool. So when it came back up, when Tiana told me that, hey, you know, I got a, a vision of you, uh, be, you know, information being downloaded into you, kind of got pumped like, all right, cool. So this is kind of confirming that, okay, I need to go the 4X route. Uh, now, just me, personally, once again, thinking or overthinking things, <laughs> I'm thinking like, all right, all right, God, well, you need to let me know which direction, man. There's a lot of different directions here, right? I know, you know, I said 4X, you know, if it's coming from you, I could learn and hustle this. I could try to learn this whole thing. Am I gonna go solo? Am I gonna go with IML? what's the you know structure so that was my hesitation at first in regards to whichever way i'm going mm -hmm. i want to make sure it's in alignment mm -hmm. with you know, what god wants me to go right mm -hmm. i'm like all right cool i could jump out there so my whole thing was like all right man i'm gonna go ahead and start you know researching learning uh getting familiar with this and you know god will kind of point me in that path i don't just want to jump in there and, and throw money this way that way so within that whole hoopla, Sianna said, you know, she got uh, more downloads, more information in regards to that. And uh, and as she said, uh, pushing into March, you know, we had a conversation uh, in regards to her joining up. And at that point, I was still like, well, all right, cool. Bro. You signing up? Am I signing up? It was this for you? Was this for me? Yeah. You you on this team over here, I'm on that team over here. What, what we doing over here, right? Yeah. So that was my whole process in saying, like, well, mm -hmm. what you know, what direction are we are we going at? Now, regardless, yeah. you know, you know, the, the money's gonna come basically, right? Mm -hmm. So Tiana signed up, and you know, honestly, I really understand, you know, why she signed up. I really, you know, everything came to fruition in regards to just the structure. Uh, the way that she was able to be plugged in, uh, that you know, 
the women that she was able to connect to, uh, the, the knowledge that you guys were able to download down to her. And I just started seeing everything churning. And, and at that point, I you know, gained clarity, clear, uh, clarity in regards to that because Kiana, she's, this is, as I said, you know, I look at her and I'm like, man, you're in your element yeah. in regards to structure, in regards to everything you're doing. And I'm saying, man, we about to, we about to, you know, tear this open because, you know, you're going to be on this side, man. You know, once I really start hammering down at this trading, I think we're going to you know, lock everything down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's the full fledged part in regards to my so side. In, so, in short, y'all, he was an agreement at first. In, in short, I was, sure. in short, I was, uh, yeah, and that's, that's 100. In short, it wasn't like, hey, cool. In short, I was kind of like, all right. I don't really know what your angle is. Are you just going to join? Because <laughs> you didn't want to join. But now you're joining. But then you're like, I'm joining over here. So I'm kind of like, all right, I don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm going to just keep doing what <laughs> I want. <laughs> but I was like, oh, are you excited and happy that he did? You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it, what happens is it, it was a, really, it was just able to kind of just really force you guys even into it. It was mm. allowing you the ability to automatically step into the very thing that you knew you needed, you wanted to be doing. Yet your spirit man was saying, yes, I want you to be trading in this space. So it really, it kind of pushed you, you know what I'm saying, right smack dab into it. And so just in that decision in itself. And so um, that's the beautiful thing that I, you know, that I love about it. And I'm so glad that y'all said yes. You know what mm. I mean? Um, because now you're affecting so many other people that just said yes with you, you know, and now you're changing other people's lives and other families and stuff like that just because of the decision that you guys decided to make. And y'all are beasting. I mean, yeah. I'm, not, I'm having fun with it. We're catching pips. I mean, <laughs> I'm learning the skill. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's fun. I know I'm yeah. having fun. Yeah. I'm having fun you guys working with us as yeah. well. Yeah, it's, yeah. Such, it's such an honor. Mm, it is. So, so I have a question for y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm single, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so this conversation was really good because honestly, like Keita said before, I we've talked to people on both sides where it's a couple and the wife may get it and the husband may not get it. But I think in this space, even though there was a disagreement or y'all weren't in agreement, but you trusted her. I guess I could say you trusted her good, like allow her to still be an individual. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you talk about that because I know for me, I'm like, well, when I get married, I'm, I don't want my husband telling me I can't spend my money. You know what I'm saying? So what would you say to that person who may be married or in a relationship, but it's like, I have a dream to do this, but my spouse doesn't, so I'm not going to do it. So I'm not fulfilled because I really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you say to that person? I'm going to let him answer first. Well, I think a lot of times within marriages, honestly, opposites attract a lot of times. So mm -hmm. in some cases, one might be just more uh, go-getter. They might just, you know, as soon as they see something, they jump out there. The other one might be a little more conservative. And so within that dynamic and aspect, you know, however those relationships work, I would never say to uh, hold back or hinder, you know, your spouse from doing anything. But just in regards to opportunities like this, uh, this is a, a great opportunity. Now you have to be able to get past certain things uh, mentally, not putting this in a box saying, hey, well, I've heard of different companies like this before this is what it is, or I was in a company like this, I don't think you were, <laughs> you know? Right. So I think that's the first thing is just, you know, if you're interested and uh, your spouse may not be on board, you know, just find a way to introduce them uh, to it, you know, have them join some calls if it has, you know, some outreaches going on. And I think from that aspect as well, they can kind of see, okay, I, I see how this can be I feel well, I can see how this can not only uh, impact our lives, but you know, our families' lives, our friends' lives. So just first off, just getting on a court in that way. And I mean, another way I'll say is just you know, set up a, a some structure. Just say, listen, this is really a, an opportunity I want to step on. 
I'm going to, you know, give me this amount of time, mm -hmm. you know, but give me this amount of time. And from there, proof will be in the pudding. You have to come forward with it confidence. Even, you know, if you're the one going out there and your spouse is like, I don't know about that. Or, hey, we got the bills we need to pay. All right. Well, you know, you have to invest in your future. So, yes, you have bills. Yes, you have other obligations. But if you want to progress, you have to invest. Yeah. It's, you know, it's within the dynamic that you're in. If you're trying to reach higher, just like with business, with, with whatever it is, if you own your own business, you're trying to get to the next level, you're going to have to invest. You're going to have to invest in training. You're going to have to invest in time. Mentors, so, yeah, mentors, that. you just have to know that, listen, for us to get to the next level, exactly. you're going to have to do something different. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to be, let me pick up some more hours here. We're going to have to do something different. Yeah. So just, you know, allow your spouse really to, to grow. And even with Tiana, the, the main thing was the Holy Spirit. You know, if God is speaking to her, who am I? <laughs> who am I to, to tell her? Well, I'm your husband. <laughs> God is God, right? Yeah. So in that sense, just like uh, when she said we weren't in agreement, I won't say we weren't in agreement. I would say that I did not really, I couldn't, I didn't have foresight in regards to the direction regarding just saying, okay, I'm kind of varying this way. It seems like you're being led this way, even though it's within the same structure. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I had to do was say, okay, just keep going back to verses and say, you know what, God, I'm not, I'm leaning not onto my own understanding. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't know the full scope. You haven't granted me the full scope yet, but I'm not going to lean because I don't understand really the direction. I envision it going this way. It seems not to be going that way. So I'm going to sit back mm -hmm. and, and watch things develop. And at that point, that's how I was able to get on the same page. Once I said, okay, all right, now it makes sense. And you know, three weeks back, then it makes sense. Yeah. So so I think um, for me, mm -hmm. I think about it from a biblical standpoint. Um, there were actually, I knew when I heard that on the 31st that this was actually gonna change our lives. Mm -hmm. I, I knew that because you know, it's only a few times in my life that I have actually heard the audible voice of God. Mm -hmm. And that was one of them. So yeah. it was, I had 20 minutes. I literally got the welcome to IML uh, email at 11.59. Wow. So I had to move very quickly. <laughs> wow. I, had to, I had to get the link, the credit card. I, that window. I had to move very quickly. And I think, um, I think so. Just just a couple things, you know. When if a wife goes to church and a husband doesn't go to church, he's not won over by you beating it over his head to go to church. He's won over by seeing you change mm -hmm. after you've gone. Sometimes you gotta go first. That's you right. know. Sometimes you just gotta go first, and you gotta show and prove. And I think just by him saying this, um, one of the things that I hear in the midst of that is. I knew that we were supposed to do this, but I didn't see where I fit now that you did it. Mm. So like, I think it's important. To, I, I think we, we are now together because now he knows where he fits. You know, you got to know where you fit in the team. You got to know where you fit in the business deal, whatever it is. You got to know where you fit as a couple. So now that he sees where he is in it, then we can really go toward this thing together. And then last but not least, one of the things that, um, I try to do like when he wasn't in agreement, I caught my, my intercessors up. Come I was on. like, Hey, you know, this is what God <laughs> wants us to do. And people, of course, people that I can trust, not yeah. anybody that's going to look at my husband any funny old kind of way, but like, listen, he not in agreement. We don't need to pray him into position Come because on. this is what God wants. Like we, we can't get distracted by this little, you know, this, because I didn't understand that it was just that he didn't know where he fit. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. But I just knew like this is what we were supposed to do, and this was going to change our family forever. So it's like, listen, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pray to get him in the position. And he eventually, like very quickly, very quickly, the one of the intercessors did say, Tiana, um, I pray that he sees his position in this. Wow. So one, as soon as that happened, he he came right on board. We came together with it. So sometimes if your spouse is doing something is there's a phrase that I use with my team in my business. It is, I don't agree, but I commit. 
Mm. I don't mm. agree. Like, I don't agree with where you're going, but I commit to mm. the vision. Like, mm. that's what has to happen. I don't agree. Because sometimes you have people that don't agree, but they don't commit. And so they row in the boat backwards and you're trying to go forward. You don't have to agree, but just commit mm. to this time yeah. period so that we can see this thing come together. So I'm just so glad. Like, I'm so glad that he's doing this with me because I know, I know, I know that I can go far by myself. I can't even sit, sit here and say that I'm a woman that feels like, oh, if my husband is not with me, I can't make it. But I know that I could go twice as far and twice as fast when we are together. So mm -hmm. I need him to come on board for this. So mm -hmm. I just appreciate you, appreciate yeah, you just, coming you on board. You know her speaking on that. That's the main uh, thing that she's hitting at was that. My concern and my confusion was that, well, it doesn't make sense with us being in the same household if I'm over here and you're over here. We're still building, we're still building up in, within IML, but I'm building over here and you're building over here. Mm -hmm. That's the part that kind of confused me based on me and my understanding and trying to understand. So. Even with her speaking, you know, well, where do I fit within, you know, within um, what you're doing and what you have going, what you have going on? Per my vision, I said, well, that's not really a direction that I was trying to take. This particular direction, uh, you know, I thought I was going to go in this way, uh, you know, build this way under this direction. So, and you know, from my stance within the household, also being a Christian. Just looking at everything, saying like, well, to me, that seems a little, yeah, you know, it seems a little, chaotic, a little yeah. out of order. Out of order. Well, I'm here, I'm here, we both grown, but we're not, you know, teamed up. Yeah. We're not, you know, and that's the part where I was like, uh, it's, it's not making sense. I don't mm -hmm. even, I'm not sure. Should I shift here? Should I keep going the path that I'm going on? Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, it did take prayer on your side. It mm -hmm. did take me pulling back, stopping. Everything just you know, hope, you know, uh, praying, seeking answers, and just saying, you know what, I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna sit on this for this amount of time. Once I get up from this prayer, and after this amount of time, you know, I pray that whatever direction I go, that it's blessed. And yeah. eventually, even though I thought I was going here, I'm going here, I'm going here. I think last minute, it kind of curved, and I was like, all right, this is the best direction to go. And, and so the funny thing is that now. The direction that he was going to go, it looks like it's all going to come together on this. Mm -hmm. so it's like, so it, it, I didn't even understand why I was taking a different route, joining a different team. But now, um, knowing what we know now, it's like Holy Spirit is the bomb. Like you know, like <laughs> this, no, this is like intel, spiritual intel, insight, and you might not understand it, but you just got to do it. You got to yeah. do it. So yeah. 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 You just gotta do it, cause I mean, we was just chatting before we got on, and you was always telling me that you're about to get ready to start homeschooling all for your kids, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, you know what I'm saying? But the great thing about it is that you have dad over here on one end catching the pips, you know, you got mom over here working the business, and you get the opportunity to be able to do that with your children. So if y'all wanted to up and go to the beach you know, over in Florida somewhere, and you can be sitting on the beach with your feet in the sand while your feet are playing out in the ocean, and y'all could be trading directly from your phone making money. That is the uh, that is the life. That's time freedom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or if you just want to pick up and just go somewhere and do something, that's you setting you and your family up. You know what I mean? And your children being able to be benefactors of it. They're able to, to learn. Just think about your 14 year old getting down there with you, David, learning the charts, learning the graphs. You see what I'm saying? And, and being able to make money. And so that's the one thing that I love, the reason why you guys said yes. And I love the financial space that we're in because it affords us the opportunity to be able to make money, whether or not someone says yes, that mm -hmm. wants to join us. You see what I'm saying? Or want to participate in it or not. If y'all decide today or tomorrow to say, I don't want to tell anybody else about the opportunity, you all could be literally there making a significant amount of money directly from your cell phone and still enjoying your life. You know what I mean? So it gives you options, you know what I mean? Versus it's being, you know, my my livelihood is solely attached to whether someone purchased a product or a service from me. Yeah. 
and we don't have an issue. You know, um, one of the things that I didn't tell you is that two years ago I got a um a a, a, a name of a business. It was Billionaire Boss Society. Wow. Right? And I didn't. I was like, God, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm not a billionaire. I'm not even a millionaire yet, for real. So I just wrote it in this little book I have that says my amazing book of ideas. One, a few days, once I decided I was going to build a team, and I know the Holy Spirit led me to that, um, I, the Lord said, that is what this name is for. Mm. So, so now, and then after my husband came on board, we have the Billionaire King Society, I mean, Billionaire Kings Club. So now, like, even within our group, the men are going to be trading together. Like, we're going to trade together, but it seems like there's a lot of couples that are coming. Like, maybe one person is in, the other person is about to, is it getting ready to come in. So they're getting warmed up. And so, you know, it's just, it's just really, really funny because after about two, three days, I got all of these people in and I was so tired. I was like, Lord, I'm tired. And he said, if you would just give me 90 days. Mm. 90 days if you would just give me 90 days if you would just give this your all if you would just make this first if you would just trust me for 90 days the whole life is about to change and so for me i'm like all right team no sleep you know right. <laughs> I, I team no sleep but the thing is is that all i've made six figures in my other business mm. so it's not like it's not like i'm not successful in my business it's mm. not like my husband doesn't make the money like we make good money, but mm -hmm. when God sets you up for wealth, it's something that you have never done before. So mm -hmm. you gotta sometimes give things a back seat, have a conversation with your kids and be like, listen, you about to witness a wealth transfer. Right. You might not see mommy that much for the next three months. We're gonna be trading on the beach, you know. <laughs> So it's, it really is, you know, it is, it's not going to be easy. It is some sacrifice that goes into building this fast. But what happens fast and what comes easy that is sustainable? I want to be able to sustain it. So that's why we're looking at systems. That's why we're looking at team members. And that's why we're looking at developing people and saying, listen, you need to read the, the wealth book, the book of Solomon. Don't get this money and, and, and just start buying stuff and don't set your future up. And so, this is just like such an amazing opportunity, especially since I went into the bathroom last week and I was doing my makeup and the Lord said, how many millions in a billion? So that was it. Like, I just was like, yes. Yeah. So I looked at it in my phone. I'm looking at it because, I, you know, I told you I ain't that great with math. <laughs> Not off the top of my head. Right. And it's a thousand millions in a billion. Mm. Ooh. I, I'm getting ready to make a millionaire maker. Yeah. So like the first 1,000 people that joined our team, I'm taking it personal. Come on. Come on, we got to get there. And I'm so excited about it because I've always known that I was going to be the first. I've always known, but I, mm. I want to take people with me. I right. want to take people with me. I don't want to be the only one buying everything. Come on. Yes. So listen, if y'all watching this, it's not a gimmick. It ain't no information. This thing is real. It is real and it is a blessing. Man. Like, like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> That's one of the things that, you know, just knowing uh, the time we've been together uh, from pretty young, uh, um, back in college days, Tiana was in a senior in high, high school. school. We had, and I was up um, first year of college when we first met became friends and we always had that mindset always had that dream not just to be successful but also to reach back and you know reach back and grab other people not just put them on by giving them money but teaching them how to fish right yeah and you know we've always had that dream no matter where we're at even within business structures that we already have you know turning in our minds for probably 10 years down the road you know, how to benefit you know, smaller businesses, how to give families and generations opportunity. And, you know, it's just cool to, to see everything kind of coming through mm -hmm. into fruition with just starting with this opportunity. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. This is a big opportunity. This is why it's something that we're not taking lightly. Yeah. We're not just taking this saying like, hey, we just want to build and build and keep. No, it's very important. Everyone that joins the team, you know, we personally look at it like, hey, we're 
you know, we're we're being held accountable. Yeah. You know, because God put this in our hearts, so we're being held accountable to make sure that they get what they need. They they have the resources they need. Everything is is boxed in, gift wrapped, yeah. and provided there, but making sure that they know, hey, this is a this is a serious opportunity, man. This ain't something that just you know put your phone in the water, man. You have to got jumping at that. Yeah, jumping in. Learn how to swim. <laughs> you, know? you know that's so good because um, a few days ago we had a 23 year old that um, took advantage of the same financial opportunity that we did, and he wanted to also become a connector. He wanted to also go out and employ other people and replace other people's actual current income, and so he just reached in this company. Chairman 500, which is $500,000 a month. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, great, God. That is good. The thing about it, he's not teaching people how to trade foreign currency. He's mm -hmm. not teaching them the company itself. He's just a connector. You know, yeah. that there's a better way over here. And he got those people connected. He took it serious, like what you guys are talking about, what we're talking about, not taking it for granted, not taking the opportunity, not taking the skill set for granted. But let me go and share with my cousin. Now his friends, they're making hundreds, hundred thousand dollars a month, twenty five thousand dollars a month, 19 years old, 20 years old. 20 wow. years old. That was because they didn't have to have analysis paralysis. They didn't have to to figure it all out they was like look the bag is here the opportunity is here the money is here let me go over here you know what i'm saying and let me be able to affect so many other people and so what you guys are doing in tiana when you sent that to me i mean i grabbed it i caught it in my my spirit i said oh i'm snapped i'm snapped. i'm taking that that's right a thousand families a thousand millionaires why not you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying why not help to employ? So many people have lost their jobs. So many people are looking for employment right now. We have a structure. We have a system in place that can literally supplement and replace people's current income. You know, so if you were making $100,000 a year, if you end up losing your job, we can show you how you can make $100,000 a month. Yeah. You were making $40,000 a year. We can show you how to make $650,000 a month. You see what I'm saying? You've been a connector, a mouthpiece that's saying, hey, learn a skill set that will be able to feed you and your family for the rest of your life. So, I mean, it's just an honor to have you guys on. I'm, I'm so grateful that it, it's a blessing to be amongst people that I have like minds, you know, that are not only just seeing success for them and their families, but they are seeking success for other people to help get the word out to share to so many people. So, I mean, the sky's the limit. You guys are, you will be that that chairman 100 by July. You will be that chairman. Because yes, one thing that we do in this group, we write out goals. We want to know. That's how we know what your goals are. So you guys, you are teaming up with people with vision. You're teaming up with people of faith. You're teaming up with people that you are excited about your future success. We are not just getting you connected into a system and leaving you astray. No, we're here to make sure that you have a full understanding of the system, the under understand the knowledge, and we want to make sure that we're setting you and your family up for financial success and financial freedom. So, I mean, you guys, I'm super excited. You guys look quickly, get back with that person right now. Get back with the person, whoever tagged you, whoever sent this video to you, whoever is you're watching from their watch party, message them right now and click the link. Click the link. It would be the best decision that you could have ever made by partnering with an amazing educational platform because we want to see you guys win. So one of the things that I want to do right now, you guys, thank you so much. You guys, just put in the chat for us real quick. Give some hearts. Tell Tiana and David, thank you so much for sharing their story because I'm telling you, this will be the last time that you will hear from these trailblazers. I mean, the, the success stories is endless. They're already receiving tremendous success financially with it. They're helping other people. One of the things I want to bring up, because I want you guys to see this, because I know all of you are like, OK, from the money st um, standpoint, if I am interested, I am one of those that lost my position, that lost my job. How can I be a connector like what you guys are doing? How can I go and share and still be able to bring in an amazing income? So what we're going to do is pull up on the screen so you guys can see right now. We want you to see 
see how simple and how easy it is if you're just being a connector. Many of you guys got 5,000 friends on Facebook, 500 friends on Facebook. I can show you easily with just, you know, 500 of those friends how they got connected and started learning with this system. You can be making $10,000 a month. And so Camilla's going to pull it up right now for you guys. Okay, awesome. And thank you, Tiana and David, once again um, for jumping okay. on with us. We really appreciate it. But um, I'm going to pull this up. But y'all stay tuned and listen because I know that y'all got some major goals. So you got to see how we're going to make that happen. Okay. So, um, so one of the things, and let me go ahead and pull this up really quick. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys this. So as you can see, um, within what we're doing, and Tiana and David actually talked about this. Um, you know, just having the vision of teaching, helping people learn how to fish or teaching people how to fish. OK. And so that was really the initial name of our movement, helping families fish, because our goal was to put people in position to change the economies in their home. And the thing I love, too, um, about David and Tiana from what you just heard is that they're not leaving any money on the table. That was the topic of today's session. Are you leaving money? on the table. Not only in this opportunity or this space of I Am Master Academy, can you learn a skill set that will pay you for the rest of your life, you're also in position to be able to help other people and be a connector, like Marquita said, and make additional income residually. And the reason why I bring this up, because I know with uh, any person who's ever heard of any other type of network marketing, MLM affiliate program is like, I don't want to talk to anybody or I don't want to do this or do that. But honestly, like if you have something at your fingertips that can change so many lives, you just naturally want to share the opportunity. Right. And, and I ask people a lot, like you may bank at Bank of America like I do. And they may say, OK, Camille, if you refer somebody, I'm going to give you one hundred dollars. You can refer somebody if you go and watch. A movie on Netflix, like people all watched, uh, was it the Tiger King, I think? And so we were all over advertising that, but nobody got paid for advertising for people to watch that. Tiger King made more money because more people were watching it, but you were not a benefactor of marketing for them. You did marketing for them, okay? When Popeye's chicken sandwich came out, you did marketing for them, but you didn't get paid for every person that you knew that went and bought that chicken sandwich, right? So you saw the value in it. So those who are listening, who see the value in the foreign exchange market, um, you can be a connector. You can be rewarded for sharing this opportunity with other people. Now, I will say this, sharing the opportunity with other people does not mean that you have to be an expert. The company themselves are the experts and the educators. You're just connecting the person to the opportunity giving them a few tools in the beginning that they need to be fully plugged in to begin to learn this skill set. So for example, I'm a graduate of Winston-Salem State University. When I was in college, if I knew that I could help some other people go to their nursing program, I would refer them to that nursing program. However, I'm not going to get any discount on my tuition for telling people, but I didn't refer them to come to my college so that I could be their teacher, right? Or their instructor or their professor. I just knew that the value that the university offered was what could help them. And so that's the mindset that you wanna have where this opportunity is concerned. So you have to ask yourself, who do you know? Whether it's a your doctor or a dietitian or the grocery store clerk, social media friends, or whatever the case may be, that could benefit from this $6.6 trillion per day industry. Who do you know that if they learn this skill set, their life will be changed? Those are the questions that I ask every day when people reach out to me or the reason why we're doing these videos every day. I know over the last four years how my life has changed so much. And I know the... Um, I know what this space can do and what it can mean for so many people, which is why I'm constantly sharing over and over and over again. So what you have up here before you is the compensation plan. And I will um, just briefly go over the compensation plan with you. Um, so if you refer three people OK, that plug into this education, you're now putting yourself in position to make an extra one hundred and fifty dollars a month. 
That may mean a lot for some people. That's enough to cover groceries for somebody for the month. So you have to kind of look with the lens of what can make a difference in your home. Does $150 make a difference in your home? If you're like, no, nah, I need more, you keep going down the, the comp plan, okay? So once you get to 12 people in your organization, you're now what is called Platinum 600. An extra $600 a month in your bank account. What could you do with that? Some people could pay for their car note and their insurance. Some people could pay a portion of some bills. Ask yourself what that number is. And then once you get to 30 people, shout out to David and Tiana that in two weeks, they write at 30 people getting right there. That's an extra thousand dollars a month in your bank account for being a connector. OK, you go and share Netflix with 30 people. You're not getting an extra thousand dollars per month. Right. So you have to ask yourself. And then once you get to 75 people, now let me make this really clear. This is not 75 people that you personally enroll. These are 75 people from people who know people who know people who know people. And the beautiful thing, as um, Tiana and David were talking about, within their, their collective team of people, they're now trading together. So not only are you connecting people that are plugging into the education, you're now able to apply and bounce your strategies and what you're retaining off of each other to help sharpen you. Iron sharpens iron, right? So that's what you're looking at. So 75 people, you're now at an extra $2,000 a month in your home, okay? Once you're at 225 people in your organization, you're at an extra 5,000 people, I'm sorry, $5,000 into your home. I bet everybody tuning in has at least 225 people on their Facebook page, right? Or know at least 225 people collectively from church or wherever you may go. Now, once you get to 500 people in your organization, you have now hit the level of Chairman 10. Chairman 10, $10,000 per month in your pocket. For being a connector, for plugging people into this skill set, for getting them plugged in and now letting them get with the expert educators to actually teach okay, and learn. Then it continues to go on to Chairman 25 of 25,000 a month, which is 1,250 people. Ultimately, as Marquita just mentioned, we have a 23 year old. 23 year old, 23 year old, yeah, <laughs> who just hit the rank of Chairman 500. Chairman 500, 30,000 people in the organization. And that seems like a lot of people, but honestly, I've been a part of other companies and have done way more than that collectively. So it's possible, but making an additional $500,000 a month, $125,000 a week, I will say this. We definitely want to give our income disclaimers. Past profits are not indicative of future results. The results that you will see will be based off of the work that you put in. So let me just say that and make it clear. But do you see the power of not leaving all the money on the table? There are a lot of people who say, I just want to trade. I don't want to talk to nobody. I want to just get on my phone, trade to make money. You definitely have the freedom and you definitely have um, the right to do that. But then the person that's like, look, I'm trying to trade, but I'm trying to get this bag over here too. Like, I'm not going to leave it. Like, it's cool. Let me let me grab a couple of my friends that want to trade too. So now I'm making money because my friends want to trade. So I'm making money because my friends want to trade and I'm making money because we trading together. You see what I'm saying? So you decide what that looks like. You decide what that number is. Everybody not may not want to be a Chairman 500 and that's okay. You find out in that comp plan, what is that goal? Where do you want to be? And you put yourself at that level and you push to do that, that level. So you will know what actually um, works for you. So anyway, so that's all that we have. We wanted to share with you guys. We thank y'all so much for jumping on. Um, David and Tiana, thank you again for joining us on. Thanks guys, for having us. Yeah. Yes. And so, guys, we will be back here again tomorrow at the same time with another special guest who has an amazing story as well. Um, make sure that you get back with the person that shared this video with you or this live with you. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. God bless. See ya.